Hello, it's Chris from My Stamp Lady, and I have some really fun products to show you today. And they all coordinate, and that is one of the best things about Stampin' Up! is that they coordinate. There are so many products, it makes it so, so easy to create your projects. Today's projects all center around the Honey Bee Stamp Bundle from Stampin' Up! And it's this darling stamp set with the coordinating dies. I have to be honest, this is one of the sets that I ordered. And I kind of thought, oh, maybe I'll use it. But I have been having a lot of fun with it. And these are the two projects that I'm going to show you the highlights of. I'm not going to show you every step, but I will be showing you lots of neat tips and tricks as you make these cards. Okay, so the products that coordinate that are available right now in the Stampin' Up! store are these are the gold foil cards they come flat like this you do fold them and they're the gold edged foil and they have come with coordinating envelopes that also have a gold foil edge you can find those in the store and they work perfect with this we also have the gold glitter enamel dots right now in the store these are while supplies last as of right now there's no indication that they're running out but you want to check those out and then the gold foil. This gold foil comes in 12 by 12 sheets. Uh, I believe it's two sheets per package. And this works really well with the gold foil edged envelopes and the honeybee stuff. And then as part of celebration, which is where you get free products with your purchases, you can find the honey, the golden honey paper. So that's this paper and you earn it free with a $50 purchase. And it's got double-sided, it's got the gold foil elements to it where it's you can see that it's embossed, and then the other side is a printed black. Okay, so those are the products that coordinate that I'm highlighting. So we're gonna start off with this card here. And this card, I'm going to start by showing you how you emboss on gold foil. So I have all of my supplies here, and I have them all listed on my website and with the sizes at mystamplady.com. So let's start with that gold embossed foil. I am going to use a stamp and pierce pad underneath my foil. I found I've been getting a better image if I do that when there's a lot of solid, solid stamp. So I'm using the embossing buddy to prevent the ink from sticking where I do not want it to. And my very favorite embossing stamp or pad is the Versamark. Let's ink that up. Lots of surface area there, lots of area to get some ink on there. Now because it's foil, it is a bit slipperier, so you wanna to try to go down and then straight up. And I'm kinda of tilting it, it looks like I have very good coverage. Now I'm going to take my gold embossing powder, just sprinkle that over the embossing. And I know it may be a little tough to see because I am doing this on the gold foil. I'm trying to flick off any extra, excuse me. You do wanna make sure you have any extra gold powder brushed off before you heat set, because once you heat set, you cannot take it off. So I'm gonna warm up my heat tool. Once that's warmed up, you will start heating your image. And you'll know that it's done when it's melted. And you're also going to notice that your foil will curve like this when you're heating. That's very normal for it to curl, curl up like that. And then you have your gold embossed hive onto the gold foil. There is the coordinating die in the detail B set. So we'll put that on there, run that through a big shot or a die cutting machine, and you end up with this die cut hive. So here is my gold foil card and I have cut my piece of golden honey paper down to three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm just going to fill in that white area, leaving that gold edge exposed. I've die cut the honeycomb, so I'm just gonna pop those parts out and you're gonna see what I end up with. I take some of the liquid glue and just going to use a little sponge and sponge some of the adhesive on the back side of this. There we go. Figure out where I want that placed. Put that down. So now I'm gonna put a few of these honeycomb pieces back in and that will just make it a little more solid and it will make that honeycomb stand out a bit more. So just putting a drop of glue and I'm not placing them all back, back in place, but just a few. Okay, I've positioned the ones that I want in there, back into there. Let's put a little bit of glue on the back side here. 
and I'm going to just glue down my beehive. This is pretty straightforward. I stamped the bee in tuxedo black ink and then I die cut it with the coordinating die and then I took a yellow marker and colored that in. I have used one of the Stitch So Sweetly dies to cut out my sentiment. You'll notice that my die cut shape is a little bit smaller than my die and I have a video showing you how to do this so I will link to a card above to see how you can stamp it, cut it out once, move your die and cut it out again to make a smaller piece with that. Let's put down our sentiment. Gonna grab a mini glue dot and put down that B. And there's my Thinking of You Sweet Friend die. So now we're gonna move and I'm gonna show you some highlights with this card. I have my honeycomb again, and this time I cut it out of the gold foil. So let's add some glue on the back side of that. Okay, so I've put that down. Now before I move on, I am going to stamp my little hello. I used my Stamparatus to do this. I did set it up ahead of time so I know exactly where it's going to stamp. And I have lined it up where I'd like it to go. And this way I know that my hello is going to stamp straight. I will link to a video using the Stamparatus in the upper right corner. Okay, so there's my hello. And then under that hello, I'm gonna glue down my golden honey specialty paper. This is three quarters of an inch by four and three quarters inch long. And then I've stamped and embossed in gold embossing onto a white piece of cardstock, the beehive. And this time I did it on white cardstock instead of the gold foil. So then we can just mount that right in there. And this is a little less busy, this card. I'm going to put a few of these pieces of honeycomb back in just to make it so that it's a little more solid. Just like the other card, I have stamped in black ink the honeybee and colored it with the Daffodil Delight marker. So let's grab a little mini glue dot and put that there. And then just to add a little bit of interest to this, I am taking some of the little glitter enamel gold dots and I'm going to position these across the card front. So these are how you can combine several of the gold products in with the Honey Bee bundle, which if you purchase the Honey Bee bundle right now, you save 10% when you purchase these two products together. If you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.